Ooh, what's up world, Mr. Magna Ragnarok here, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 2 in the last video. We got a lot of progress done by getting the Crystal Rod, getting swallowed up by Leviathan, getting a new party member, and making it here to Mysidian Tower. And in this video, we're going to tackle the dreaded Mysidian Tower. Oh boy, I am not looking forward to this. Want to know why? Because Mysidian Tower here, there are 10 floors to this place. 10 floors. All of which floors have powerful enemies that once used to be boss battles are in this place. Why the hell did I get a staff? Come on, game. Seriously, I don't want a staff. Do I look interested in a staff? No, I don't. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna teach Poison to Gareth. And at the same time, I'm also gonna teach Gareth Drain as well. J just so he'll have something on him, at least. I mean, give the guy a bone or something. Alright, well, some HP were increased that last battle. Ooh, we have a new enemy here, the Vampirette. I believe in the Dawn of Souls version, this is actually the Vampire Lady. There's your little fact of the day, it has a different name in a different version of this game. Ha ha! Vampire Ladies, they're not that powerful. I can easily one-shot them. Like so. <laughs> But yeah, um, now I should say this right now for Mysidian Tower. 60, if not 70% of all the chests here in Mysidian Tower, you do not want to miss. Trust me, because they are all really, really good. You do not want to miss them. Ah. Uh. Ooh, we have two new enemies here, the Werewolf and the Imp. Imps can cast Muddle 16. Yes, a rank 16 spell. And at the, le at the current position we're at right now, it's guaranteed to hit us. So, we need to take these guys out quickly before they even get the chance to use Muddle. And did I actually get a preemptive strike on these guys before this battle started? I, I think I did. Because they didn't seem to be doing anything. So it looks like I took the advantage. Ha ha! They do give out a lot of guild though, so I'm actually glad for that. Um, This way. Haha, secret passage. Here is a white robe. White robe? I believe it does what exactly? Boost spirit. Uh, I don't really want it. I'm sure it's very good and one of a kind. Ooh, hoo, hoo, boy. I did not like that last battle. It was more imps. And they really wrecked Maria and Gus. I, I do not like I do not approve of that. I I certainly do not approve of that. Imps can be dangerous motherfuckers, viewers. Just remember that. Don't mess with an imp. In here, what is it with the staffs? God damn! I don't want your stupid staff. So get out of here. Okay, now, there is one thing I do want to point out. Well, a few things. This dungeon, this long dungeon, it's pretty much straightforward. You don't have to get all the chests if you don't want to. You can easily move on. But just saying, 60 to 70% of all of them in here are really good, and I recommend you pick them up. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is the imps. 
Remember how I told you guys that they can use Muddle 16 and practically confuse my entire party, making them attack and kill each other one at a time? Well, there is a counter strategy to that. If I put Maria and Gus in the back row, now if they were to get confused, for example, they can't hit my party members that are in the front row because they're in the back. They can't actually physically attack them. That's one little bug in the game's programming code that they forgot to take out in this version of the game. So that is actually pretty good. I, I actually found this strategy during my last playthrough of this game. So it is really useful against the imps and their Muddle 16 spell. Alright, Mycidian Towers, second floor. Now pretty much you can kind of see the gimmick to this tower. It basically has its own elemental set of floors, I guess you could say. I'll explain more of that very shortly. Now, depending on how long that this dungeon might take me, this may be a two-part dungeon, guys. I know, it's, it's that big. Because, like, again, it's ten floors long. And I might have to do the next part in, like, the next episode. I'm hoping it doesn't come to that, but we'll just have to see. Now, okay, I just want to say this right now. Most of these rooms can be nothing but empty rooms. That will be traps. So, most likely, I think this room might be a trap, but I'm just going to check anyways. Yep, I was right. Ooh, but in the process, we at least get to meet a new enemy, the Basilisk. Basilisk? Basilisk? Excuse me. They can't... well, they have that spell, Gaze, which can turn you to stone, which luckily didn't hit me, so that was nice. They don't have much health, they, have, they don't have the greatest attack in the world, and their defense sucks horribly. So, yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's really it for the Basilisk. All, the only threatening thing about them is their Gaze spell, but it, they can only perform it up to like level 5, so by this point you should be okay in avoiding level 5 spells. Alright, Goret's HP increased that last battle, so let's heal him real quick. Alright, let's head down this way. Now, it is true that in the process of leaving Gus and Maria in the back row to prevent any of the, um, the imp enemies from using Muddle on you is a good idea. The only downside, too, is that battles will take a little longer. Alright, Goret's HP increased that last battle, so that was actually good. So at least Gus will level up pretty quickly in here. Or, not Gus, Goreth, excuse me. Two chests over here. One, Flame Bow. Two, Flame Lance. Very nice. Alright, let's head down south now, or actually no, let's head this way. Oh my god, nothing but blobs after blobs after blobs in that battle. God damn. Get rid of the poison. Let's see, 31, 31, 38. Alright, good. And... Yeah, as you can tell, Gareth's HP and MP and Endurance increased the last battle. Alright, let's see. Okay, come on, Gareth. Seriously. Could you not be at a point where you're almost dead that I have to actually heal you every now and then? Could you, could you just do that? Just this once? Alright. Uh, yeah, that's, those are the stairs. That's where we need to go. Alright, come on, Gret. Seriously, you're still close to dying. Just a little bit more, buddy. Just a little bit more. 
That would be nice. Okay, thanks, bye. <laughs> That's all I can say for you. Alright, can I make it to the stairs? Can I make it to the stairs? Oh, well, Gress HP increased even further after that battle. So, yeah, Maria, kill him. Alright, up the stairs. Guess what's returned from the first game, guys? Lava! Isn't that nice? I hate the flashing red screen. Uh, this one. Damn it! Ooh, um, we have a new enemy here, the evil bud. Oh my god. Gareth? Are you okay, buddy? You, you, you look like you got really wrecked there. Are you okay? Um, hopefully I can get rid of that poison. Or he could just die. Great. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fire on that. Fire on that. Evil buds, I believe, are weak to fire. At least I hope they are. If not, I'm gonna be disappointed. Okay, they seem to be weak. Alright, hopefully these three combinations of fire should take him out. Sorry, Gareth, buddy, but you're gonna have to sit out for this one. These evil buds are just a little too much for you. Alright, just hit him with one more fire. They should be dead after this one. Aw, oh, nah, really? Okay, die after this one? Seriously? Okay, fine, I'll just let Furion physically kill you. Just get an overkill on you. That makes it more happy for me. Alright, there you go. Sorry, Gareth, buddy, but you had to sit out for this one. Those evil buds were just a little too tough for you. Alright, let me get you back on your feet. Go ahead and spam cure a bit. Alright, good enough. Now I know for certain it's the other door. And just like in the first game, as long as you're in lava, there are no random encounters, so you're safe to do whatever you want. But remember, you lose one health every time you take one step in lava. Flame sword. Okay, that will be useful very, very shortly. Not right now, but very shortly. Go this way. Okay, good, I made it. Oh, come on. Seriously? Uh, I better use my ethers, because this place is very, 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 very big, and I'm gonna need as much firepower as I possibly can muster up. Alright, sort, get, flame mail. Finally, over here, we have a flame helm. Alright. Head through the door! Oh, hello, praise. But, uh, I better heal up before I talk to this guy, because, you know, just, just, just saying, I, I probably should. You have done well, but you must defeat me to proceed. The mage begin to grow.
Oh my god, it's a Hill Gigas! But this isn't any ordinary Hill Gigas. This is a Fire Gigas! Fire Gigas here, he can unleash devastating fire spells and physical attacks. The only strategy to actually work to beat this guy. Spam the crap out of ice. <laughs> Spam the crap out of ice. Uh, yeah, ice from Maria. Gus, you put up a shield for Gareth here. Gareth, you really can't do anything just except attack. And you only did 12 damage. He has a lot of defense and a lot of attack power, so he's no pushover. But the way I'm damaging him, he might go down in... Uh, maybe next turn, I'm not sure. He has around... I want to say 2500 health. Don't, don't quote me on it though, because I'm not for certain. Okay. Maybe 2000, I don't know. Boulders. Ouch. Yes, he can hit the back row as well, so be very, very cautious about that. Okay, so I'm somewhat right. He has around maybe 2,500 to 3,000, just somewhere there. Whereas shield skill increase. Sweet. Alright, let's head on up. Receiving tower, fourth floor. Now, as you can tell, this is probably an ice place to you. Well, you, sirs, are correct. It is an ice floor. And what did we get from the last floor? We got fire weapons, that's what. Equip the flame sword of Furion. And I will equip the... Terra sword to you, Gareth. Well, actually, wait, do I have another flame sword? Do I have another flame sword at my disposal? No, I do not. Sorry, Gareth, but you're gonna have to deal with the Terra Sword. Chess. Alright, in this chest, we have an ice shield. But before we do anything with the ice shield, um, all that flame gear we've got from the last floor, I think I'm gonna equip to Gareth here. Ice shield better. Resistant to fire. Well, that's useless on this floor. Lowers your attack a bit, but raises your defense gradually. So, I'll use that. Raises your defense. Use that. And, okay. That's as far as we can raise your stats for now. Um... I don't know if this is the correct path, or if it just takes you straight to a treasure chest. I think if this just takes you to a treasure chest, but I'm gonna check anyways. Alright, guess what's also returned from the first game, guys? These icicle spikes on the ground, yes. Just like the lava, every time you take one step on them, you lose one health point. Seriously, my inventory's full again? Guys. Mmm. Okay, well, hold on. Let me heal Gareth first. Alright. Inventory. What do I have and what do I not need? You know what? I'll just use the last of my ethers on Maria and Gus. Alright, and uh, what do I have in here that I don't want? Get rid of the Battle Axe and the Mithril Axe, because I have no idea what they're still doing here. Ice Shield they don't need, Knight's Armor, go away. Titan's Gloves, goodbye. Um, Mithril Axe, goodbye. Sword, and now get Chess. Ice Lance, this is actually a very good weapon. Alright, Gareth's Endurance increased that last battle. Okay, seriously encounter rate, can I at least say more than six words in one sentence? Thank you. Anyways. 
Alright, can I grab this chest? In here, ice gloves. I believe these are better. They lower attack just a little bit, but they increase defense. to fire. Um, hmm. Okay, after looking at all four of them, it doesn't affect Maria that much, so I'm gonna give it to Maria. Alright, head to the right. Head up. Alright, go up, please. Thank you. Grab this chest over here. Let's grab this chest. We get Ice Mail. Ice Mail, I believe, is a much better armor for practically anybody. Hmm, okay, not for Maria. Not for Furion. Better for Gus. Okay, give this to Gus. Alright, head up here. Go up the stairs! Alright, head up the stairs now. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, fifth floor and holy icicle floor Batman. I hate flashy red screen. <laughs> well, Le I took one freaking step! Come on, game. Seriously, you're gonna give me an encounter of one step. That's how ridiculous the encounter rating is for this place. If you're not even on the icicle floors or in the lava. That's, that just proves how ridiculous it is. Oh my god. Karez, don't die! <laughs> don't die, Karez. I need you. Stay alive, stay alive, ba 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 stay alive. Seriously, stay alive with me, Gret. Don't go, buddy. I'll have a life ready just in case he does die. He shouldn't know, but just in case, safety precaution. Oh, you son of a. Oh, I hate stone. I hate stone. I hate stone in this game. Fuck you, boss. Let's get out of here. Oh my god, I hate you so much, you dirty slut. Okay. Luckily, I have three gold needles on me. I came prepared. Have... Yeah, it's recommended that you have a few maiden kisses and a few gold needles on you before coming into this place. Just, you know, a fair warning for you viewers in case you're playing along with me. Okay, let's advance. In here, Ice Brand. This is a better sword, but don't equip it yet. Just do not equip it yet. Just, just trust me. Not, not yet. Anyways, um... Now, I'm sorry if I one friggin' step and encounter already. Now, as I was saying... I, I'm sorry if I sound a little bit tired in the mic, it's just I'm actually recording this like exactly right off after the last episode. So yeah, I'm recording this like exactly right after it and I'm still going with this re small recording session. Right now I'm at about almost two hours. Yeah. Enough with the run to battles and get the point already! God! I'm sorry, but I'm pissed. This encounter rating for this floor is ridiculous. This is why I wasn't looking forward to this 
game. This is a reason why I wasn't somewhat looking forward to this game right here. It's because of this place. This place is encounter rating. That encounter just proves my point of how ridiculously high this whole dungeon's encounter rating is. Incredibly high. Oh my god. And we still got Let me let, just give me a minute, viewers. I'm sorry, but God, you have done well, but you must defeat me to proceed. The mage began to grow. Haven't we seen this before? It's another hill, Gigas. But not just any hill, Gigas. It's an ice, Gigas. Okay, I'm sorry for making the same joke twice. Ice Gigas, basically the same as Fire Gigas. Same health, same defense, same attack. It can use ice spells instead of fire spells. And it has the exact opposite weakness of what the Fire Gigas was. Hit it with fire. Ow! That kinda hurt. Hopefully he should go down next turn. Most likely not this turn, but next turn. Actually, wait, what am I doing for Firion? I can just attack since he has the flame sword on. Maria, you can heal Gareth. Gus, you hit him with fire 5. Gareth, you can just attack. Ice 12, oh boy. That's one of its dangerous ice spells right there. I would have laughed if Caress got that finishing blow. 7 HP. But most likely he's dead. Yep, there he goes. Okay, Caress evasion increase. Nice. Alright, well we've defeated another Gigas boss. And we're on the 6th floor of Mysidia Tower. But... As much as I want to get this done and over with, we've still got five more floors left to go, and two more bosses. I'm not kidding, we've still got two more bosses. Well, technically just one, but there's another one in here that's kinda optional, if you know what I mean. But we're gonna tackle all that in the next episode, so next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy 2, we will finish up the rest of Tower of Mysidia. Anyways, see you guys then.